Hey guys, how's it going? This is Ian, aka the Blender Bro, and it's been a while, actually. But in this video, I'm going to explain an idea for a project that I plan to do and I hope will be successful. So as you all know, Blender is not only a piece of 3D animation software, but it also has an integrated game engine. It has supports for different types of coding, including C++, C++ um, ga game logic, physics, and stuff like that. However, it's not been used that much um, in the gaming industry, and even when it's used, not many people seem to hear about it. Like, for example, when you like when most people hear the term Blender Game Engine, they're going like, "What the heck are you talking? What the heck is this guy talking about? I don't even know nothing about Blender. What is Blender or something like that?" And so, I feel like the other game engines which became so popular, like Unity, Source, and Unreal, un the Unreal Engine. Have became so popular because they, uh, for most of the for most of the games created in those game engines, they have the logo of the game engine uh, in front of their games, which state you know, uh, powered by Unity, powered by Unreal en Engine, powered by Source, etc., uh, etc. Et and it seems as if Blender does. It, it seems like Blender doesn't have any of that sort of stuff right here. However, I feel that if the Blender game engine will be given an animated logo that tells the public um, that the Blender game engine actually exists inside of Blender, then people will think, huh, well these graphics are pretty good, and it seems like this game engine seems to do the trick. That is, if that game is good, at least. <laughs> and that's why, as of right now, I am currently working on an animated logo, a fan-made one to be exact, of the Blender game engine that other people can use for their for their games created inside the Blender game engine. So let me explain my process of how of how I'm going to get the Blender game engine logo to what it is going to be in the future. First off, I need to choose my software to use to actually design the logo myself. Like the open movies made by the Blender Foundation, this will be made using using all open source software. Most of it is going to be done in Blender, with the animation, physics, and comp uh, composition, compositing, and stuff like that. Now the next thing, before we actually start an animating other big things, like for example any physics that occur on the screen, we need to actually design the end product of the logo as the final shot. So in that case, we need to design a des make a new logo for the Blender game engine that is based on the original Blender logo. Once we've created that, we are now ready to set up our, our 3D scene. Once the 3D scene is set up, all we, have, we just now have to animate, light up your scene, composite, edit the scene together into a, into a sequence, do some sound designing, and finally render out the final result. Once it gets rendered and put online, in addition, I will put all the, I will, I will put all the source files up on the Blender Cloud so that people who use Blender or have been subscribed to the Blender Cloud can actually download download all the assets including the final renders and source files so that they can use in their own Blender game engine projects. So more information regarding this will probably explain later on this channel, but for right now this is what's going to happen. Development on this logo is currently a work in progress, but during the logo creation I will post some updates on what I created so far and what stage I'm at, I'm at now. So in this video, I'm going to explain what stage I'm at right now. The final logo. So as you can see right here in Blender, I actually have the, I actually designed the, um, the final logo, uh, which will be shown at the end of the animated logo. And this game engine text down at the bottom is all based on the official Blender logo. Now you're probably wondering, how did you even make this Blender logo, um, the, which is the Blender logo that we're used to seeing? How is it in this 3D scene? Well, if you all um, uh, look at the Blender website or have been following the web Blender website for a while, you will know that the people who develop Blender have actually, have actually included a page on their website um, which explain uses of, which explain the right usage of the, uh, the Blender logo and some rules in terms of how to use it the correct way and the wrong way. 
And not only did they provide images of the Blender logo itself, but they also provided the actual .blend file of which this logo was created in. That's right, this logo right here, the original Blender logo, I mean, as far as I could tell, has been made inside a Blender. At least that's what I think, I don't know, maybe it could have been made in, you know, like, um, a vector-based application and then imported with some add-on, but I don't know. So anyway, once I had this, so with this Blender socket, I basically imported it into Blender using the file append command, and so the logo itself is inside the scene. And how I made the uh, the blend the game engine checks down here. Um, basically, uh, the G and the A are basically all handmade. So if we go over here, um, basically what I did for the A and the Gs, which are all one object, by the way, what I did here is I basically took a curve, took a curve object, and I tried and well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, as you can tell that the G and the A isn't really the best thing in the world. Again, this is still a work in progress. Maybe it will improve down the road. Um, and there's actually one more thing that I forgot to mention. Since I'm putting these files online for public viewing, I'm actually allowing people to actually download these and actually tweak them yourself, uh, tweak them themselves. So that's why, that's one of the reasons why I'm actually, I'm actually posting the original source files online because I actually really, th I actually really think that, uh, that we can, that we can make an actual Blender game engine animation logo. And, um, and currently right now, since this text is looking ugly, maybe we could get some professional modelers who understand a lot about curves in Blender and, and actually take that knowledge and actually create better looking letters for this logo. So again, this is currently a work in progress. But uh, maybe I'll improve on these, but once I post the final animation up online on Vimeo, um, I will also provide a link where you can download the original source files, so that way this logo can be improved um, to, um, yeah, to make it a, to make it a final logo or whatever. So anyway, like I said, the G and the A are all custom made. Well, and, and, all, and all these other layers right here, are actually uh, are actually copied or created or created as a template from the original Blender text right here. So if you take a look right here, you can see that uh, that I actually use the Blender text to actually create this text down here. You can tell this because the E up here and the E down here look exactly the same. And this little M M right here, all I did was just made two copies of the letter M and basically placed them together and adjusted the curves of one of, of the ends to make sure that looks like the letter N. And, um, yeah, so, I mean, the only problems I'm dealing with right now are the G and the A. Hopefully those get fixed down the road. And, um, and so if you take a look at this screenshot right on the screen, you can actually see the final shot of the, of the finished logo. Again, it's still a work in progress, so maybe it'll get better down the road or stuff like that. And once again, you're seeing and you're seeing a test image, so it's probably going to be a little noisy. It'll be noise free as um as when the uh, final animation gets produced or stuff like that. And um, well, yeah, that's pretty much it for right now. I mean, this is where I'm at right now. I developed the um. The uh, the final logo, which will be shown at the end, and what else do I? Um, yeah, I basically use the same materials that have been used in the original Blender logo right here, as well as um, and well, yeah, you know. Um, oh yeah. Also, I've um, uh, I am currently rendering and. As of right now, I am currently uh, modeling this inside of the current release, uh, Blender 2.79, which I think was released like five days ago. I'm probably probably even earlier than that, or stuff or something like that. Maybe I don't know. And also, I'm currently rendering in the Cycles Render Engine. Maybe down the maybe down the road, um, I'll the animation will be rendered out in the upcoming Blender 2.8. Which is really is um which really has a lot of changes in my opinion. Like I took a look at the experimental builds from the um 
from the Blender Build Bot or whatever, and it really has changed a lot. So maybe I'll use Blender to maybe so during the final uh, during the final production or the when this when this uh this animation gets rendered, it'll be either be rendered in Blender two point seven nine or Blender two point seven eight, whatever gets released first. And I'm also rendering it in the Cycles render engine because it provides better results in the Blender internal, at least in my opinion. But uh, probably down the road, maybe I will probably switch that to the new EV renderer. Like, I haven't really uh, tested it out uh, in a bunch of scenes yet. But again, it's still in the testing phase and I really don't want to risk it. So um, until EV becomes, you know, like, I don't know, the best render engine ever. I'm sticking with Cycles right now. So, I guess that's pretty much it right now. Um, again, I will have these source files after the final animation gets produced. So, keep a look out on that. But, yeah, this short series of videos is, again, this basically shows you um, updates in regards to um, my progress on creating this logo. And, again, I really want this to be be uh be a logo for everyone to use uh for their games developed in the Blender game engine and I want it to be like um like like I don't know like I don't even know how to say this right now. Maybe I actually want people to actually use it. Uh people that actually use it. Like people who are actually just go, oh I'm making a Blender game. I better download this logo to tell people, hey, um Hey, I made this in the Blender game engine. Go check it out or something like that. Also, I did forget to mention one thing. Um, I will be, re I will be upload once I will be rendering two versions. One that, one that is based on the final product that you see here. And another one that's based on this, except it's going to have something along the lines of powered by Blender game engine, like you do see in those, um, in those other logos or stuff like that. So. Yeah, I mean, hopefully, so, yeah, um, I hope you're interested in this. I really want this to be a, a very good logo for a game engine that really deserves all the recognition it, it could get. I mean, I'm not really a game developer, but I feel like, um, I feel like the, the game engine deserves a whole lot more. It, I feel like it, ha I feel like it hasn't been given a whole lot of attention, uh, when compared to something like Unity, but, Again, that's just my opinion, and I also want to create something from those using for those using the uh, Blender game engine. So, hof so hopefully in the future that um, when I uh, put this up and the source files, it'll get better and better by people who actually understand modeling in Blender, whether it be using meshes or curves and stuff like that. But yeah, I really hope you do keep following uh, about all my work that I'm doing. Uh, but for right now, that's pretty much it. So this is basically where I'm at, where I'm at now, and I'll continue working on it. And um, and the next update, I'll basically discuss uh the scene that I've uh that I've created. So until next time, this is Ian, Ian aka the Blender Bro, signing out. Keep on blending, bro.